In Stargirl Summer School Chapter 1, did you know that Jade was first introduced into DC Comics and All-Star Squadron number 25? This issue came out in September of 1983. And just in case you didn't know, her father was the original Green Lantern, Alan Scott. What's up Movie Maniacs? Welcome back to another edition of Movie Mistakes. And today we're going to show you a few of the goofs that we found in... Stargirl Summer School Chapter 1 And if you haven't joined the Movie Mistakes family yet, go ahead and click that like, subscribe, and notification bell now. We appreciate it. So to start this episode off, little Rebecca is sitting on the left hand side of this uh, porch swing here. There is nothing unusual about that except for the fact that you can see now that she is sitting exactly in the middle of the swing instead of on the left hand side. But after the little boy comes up we can see now again she switched back to the left side. Hmm, interesting right? Staying in the same scene, the little boy talks Rebecca into stealing a present. She opens it here as you can see she just kind of throws the lid away. But as the camera angle switches back and forth we can see now that the lid is sitting right next to the box whereas before she had just tossed it away like yesterday's newspaper. Just a little while later we can see Yolanda is taking a leisurely stroll by herself. So what do you think is going to show up in the middle of her shirt? Well we won't make you wait. As you can see when the camera switches angles her hair has somehow gotten tangled in itself on her chest which is kind of weird. So this next mistake kind of didn't make sense to me. Notice when Jade breaks into their house they're cutting doors in half they're making all kinds of ruckus and noise. They're literally almost beating each other to a pulp. So with all the noise that's going on how come her parents haven't woken up yet? We're chalking this one up as a mistake because most parents would hear just about anything. This is just out of control. Staying in the same scene, when Stargirl and the Green Lantern's daughter are fighting, notice that the lantern is on the ground in between them. But as the camera pans up, we get a shot of both of them fighting one more time and we can see that the Green Lantern has vanished for some reason. So if the lantern disappeared, shouldn't her powers as well? Hmm, maybe? So for our final mistake, the Green Lantern's daughter Jade breaks into their house and the two girls fight. Seems about normal because Stargirl doesn't know who she is or what she's doing there. She's protecting her home, right? So when her parents come in, she tells her dad that she believes it's just a misunderstanding. I, I think there's been a misunderstanding. Yeah, you seem to be having a lot of them today. But I don't think that's right either. He shouldn't be jumping on his daughter's case talking about she's had a lot of them today. This is not a misunderstanding. She doesn't know who this girl is or what she's doing in their house. She's only doing what was right. So everyone, what do you guys think of Stargirl or have you even seen it yet? I actually think it's a pretty cool show. Let me know what you think giving it a rating of a 1 to 10 in the comments section below. And as usual, don't forget to hit us with that like, subscribe, and notification bell now. That way it'll be pushed to the top of the YouTube rankings. We appreciate it. Once again, my name is Lee from Moving Mistakes. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next time.